everyone. Welcome back once again to Let's Play Evolution Worlds. <clears throat> Sorry, I've been, uh, it's been almost, how many months? Five months since I've done this Let's Play. I remember the last time we were defeated by the, uh, the ulti cam. Welcome! <clears throat> that was very foolish, I was like that. So, <clears throat> So the reason why I uh, stopped for a while isn't because I was all, uh, is because I got all depressed about losing the final battle. Well, it was a little embarrassing for me, but, uh, <clears throat> but after that, um, I kind of start contemplating whether I should do the Tower of Despair, or if I should, uh, level up or skip the level up recording. Uh, thanks to my test audience, who was, uh, my good friend Brent, of course, I would say thank you to Brent, because if not for Brent, I would be doing this right now, so I just want to say that. Uh, thank you, Brent. Help me out with this. <clears throat> so here we go. I'm just going to go to the 23rd floor. Uh, wait a minute. Hold on a sec. I just need to uh, see my equipment. Alright, good. So I de-equipped the Lucky, the, uh, the Santa Maria's, and the dolls. Because, again, I obviously want to save them for the, uh... Well, sick. That yeah, works for the final boss. You know what I'm saying? Let's see what this. Gotcha. Cool. Hiya. So I might not conserve my MP for my MP for long. Is it FP? Yeah, it's FP. Out of my face! Yeah. Alright. Obviously, <clears throat> being on the second to last floor is obviously killing two birds with one stone. Because seeing how it does, in fact, have the highest level enemies, but also I can easily just go back up and tell for teaching power. So it's that. So I got this huge spider thing. I'm gonna use my uh, strike hammer. Nah, it's me. Yeah. Alright, uh, Kokana. I uh, use a drill attack. Rock break. That's it out. It's weak. I can't believe it! So, for the final boss, I do plan on putting Pepper in the back. <clears throat> because, obviously, she's a healer. And also, if, you, uh, if you're new to this Let's Play, and you just, for some reason, decide to start from this part, um, <clears throat> the back ranking has most defense but the least offense. While the off while the front ranking is just the opposite, it's the exact opposite. Right now both Carcano and Pepper are in the middle of it. And so if you could clearly see the uh if you could uh, barely see the square behind them you could tell they were in <clears throat> Basically Out of my face. the ranking really matters in uh, no. a very much earlier battle I did. Uh, against uh, Prince Eugene, <clears throat> um, you have to put Mag at the front, Ray in the back, and Pepper or Chain in the middle. Otherwise, um, Eugene would have used a Nalan 1500. Not a lot in the, on the second disc, the Evolution 2 part, but let me tell you something. It would have been a shitload. A shitload back then. So, yeah. It would have been very, uh, it would have set me back quite a lot of that power. Alright, everyone. No more pulling my punches. No more saving up. Let's just kill that guy. First camera. I still keep the green type because I 
how long it is. Don't want to go past 15 minutes. I don't know how much of, uh, I don't know how much maximum time I have on my account, but I don't want to take the risk of maybe over 15 minutes, you know what I'm saying? So now we're going to kill this guy. Uh, another tower ring. He's going to exhaust our, uh, as we need, because again, we can always go back to town and our net will restored. Now he's in the red, this is his normal attacks. It depends on how much health he has in the world. Yeah, but, uh, so, um... <clears throat> gotta clean my apartment sometime. Before the 30th. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Not good to procrastinate, but still. So, <clears throat> so for, I've been thinking about my next Let's Play. Uh, it's going to be another GameCube game. I'm going to play games in my childhood. Uh, the next Let's Play I'm going to do will be for Pac-Man World 2. Celebration of uh, Pac-Man's <clears throat> Pac uh, announcement for Super Smash Bros. 4. Wii U 3DS. Very excited about that. I'm a, I'm, uh, no, you're not going to get my hyped reaction because... I never saw the last one. I was ashamed of that. I didn't see it yet. I was asleep. But it was 11. I had just seen the tournament, and uh, I, I went on. I was on the website, uh, the new the new website. I was on the movie list, and I saw red, blue, and yellow. I didn't know what the hell it was, but I clicked on it, and on my iPhone, and there it was. I saw Pac-Man. I was very happy about Pac-Man. I was like, about time. I didn't just say a lot, but yeah, I was. I was I was, in fact, pleased with Pac-Man's appearance. However, the fiddle sweetness does, in fact, come from the fact that I really planned on having some sort of reaction to what Pac-Man's finally announced. I've been waiting this whole time. And, Here goes and then when he's finally announced, it's like... Wow. Right over my head. The one time I, I blinked and there were weapons. So yeah, that's why I don't really talk. That's why I get a little disgruntled when somebody mentions Pac-Man or the round table with them because I feel like I'm performing out of it. I, sometimes I feel like I don't even, I don't even deserve to talk to one of the Smash fans. Not that that's a shameful thing to do, but it's like I, I feel like I'm the only person who missed out on this opportunity. The only person who somehow missed the event. I didn't think the round table was going to be anything like that. Again, I, I don't think it was now, but still, I just really wanted to. I, I, I had a lot to plan for my for my loud reaction. It would have been so funny. I mean, maybe it wouldn't have got a lot of views, much like my little Mac reaction. I mean, my little Mac reaction didn't get some views. I mean, more than I used to get. I mean, but as much as I used to get, you know, before uh, the whole uh, Pooper's Walk thing came in. <clears throat> yes, I'm still having the YouTube Pooper's Walk. If only some anyone who's watching this video and who knows that I used to make YouTube poops, who are familiar with the, with my uh, with my uh, past work, then uh, please help me get some ideas because. Uh, this is why the series is currently stagnant right now, because I, th I feel like I keep jinxing it by making a I'm back episode every time wow. I just jinx it. I'm back. I'm back, guys! Oh, now I'm not back. I'm back, guys! Now I'm not back. I'm back, guys! 
Now I'm not back. You know what I'm saying? You know how many I'm back episodes of my YouTube poops I've made? And the intro is just say, I'm back. And even Copper Cat at one point says, again. But for my most recent wow. YouTube poop before this huge block happened, this is after I went to a, uh, um, <clears throat> the video was not made after I went before. Yeah, it was made. No, no, it was made before, right before I went to this forum. And when I came back from this, uh, this forum, this, uh, three-day, uh, meeting event thing I had, uh, suddenly I lost interest in my YouTube groups. I don't know what happened. I just felt like, I just start cringing at it. How do you, how does that happen? How do you, why is it that I, the creator, cringes at my own work? Maybe I'm so used to it or something? Maybe I just, I don't know. It's like, it's like sort of, I'm, I'm not saying I hate my YouTubers. Oh, not at all. I mean, I love them. It's just... You know? It's the block, I guess. I mean, I need some help with that. You guys know how to cure a block. I've done everything. I've tried going for walks. I've, I've tried not trying so hard. Let it come naturally, but it hasn't been coming naturally. So, yeah. I'm just gonna, so anyway, I'm just gonna walk no, off the team at this, this giant spider thing. Oh, oh my god, I just remembered I did it I'm going to add Meg Launcher. Uh, to my apartment complex. Uh, if I can find some goggles, that is. I used to need, I need goggles. Something like that. Uh, maybe. If I get you know, some glasses and some antenna things, that would be great. Uh, <clears throat> that would be fantastic if I could just do that. In this <clears throat> and I'll be doing that eventually. It's not really an adventure suit, it's more like one of those, um, those punk gangster things. I guess I can't really explain what it looks like, but um, sort of, it's more like short sleeve ish, like something a gangster might wear, I like 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 a '50s gangster. But um, it does look like the uh, the kind of thing that Mag wears in this game that you might see right now. And I think personally, it would be rather cool to get Mag in there. I just gotta add some sunglasses on the other thing. And again, the antennas are gonna look like Max default goth or some sort of things with the with the tent like you're seeing right now. It's hard to explain. But you're look at this goth. Yeah, right here. Like that, side frame it. I do have some team fortress colors. Uh for the scout, you always have to make his favorite color black. And you gotta give him uh uh black black cap. That's what you gotta do. Then you give them a red shirt, and then you can give them yellow headphones, and they're, that's what's so special about Tomodachi Mike, is that you can expand on the wardrobe, and it's the wardrobes that always decide for you which characters down the island. Like, I just came up with Corcano, I might add Corcano to the island. Green Bandana, and uh, sort of that sort, that look he has, I I'm, I'm just might add Corcano. That would be great. If and if I could like get the uh the, the, I I'm, I know I'm not gonna get the exact uh wardrobe that Carcano is wearing right now. Nobody has their exact wardrobes. Mario is wearing a friggin' I had to give Mario a friggin' denim dress. Um and so and it was even engineer. The, the red shirt and the blue overalls, except Mario is like wearing a skirt and engineer is wearing a blue skirt right now. So yeah. I prefer to give the engineer a blue team sort of look because on the red team he looks like ha! not Rope blue. In any time. You know, with the exception that he doesn't face. have uh, those straight eyes of his, like, like Doug does. Yeah, I made a Doug funny with this well, he's on the island, and Patty Man is. Uh, characters like Skeeter, Valentine, Roger Klotz, The Incredible Hulk, or Shrek, or, uh, or, I don't know, The Red Hulk. None of them are going to appear on my island. Unless they have some sort of update where you can actually, uh, uh, you can actually change, like, the skin color, kind of like, like, hair color dyes, or skin color dyes, that would be great. If you could, like, make their skin any color you want, any color of the rainbow, any color outside of the rainbow, you can make it, uh, jet black, or, or, like, pale white, or, uh, green, or blue, or red. What does this game have against smokes? Is it fucking racist? Is it crutches against smurf people? I mean, fuck you. That's smurfing. That's smurfing ridiculous. But yeah. You know, seriousness, they gotta do that. Uh, next time, let's play. Bye.